Hello friends. At the beginning of this video itself, let me let me make few things clear before I go further. See, you are free to put up a comment and say that the topic that I am dealing with is already in the news, which means that a new uh, variant of this virus has been already discovered. I totally agree with you. My idea is not to tell you anything which I myself do not believe in. See, it is like every time the meteorological department gives you a warning that something is approaching, maybe a hurricane, a tornado, or a cyclone, or whatever it is. You must have seen that in 70% cases it does occur. Sometimes it gets deviated, diverted, and goes somewhere else. When we, I'm talking about few of my colleagues, when we were discussing this, that okay, there's, a, there's something in the news, let us verify whether is it matching with the planetary position or no. We already knew that after the solar eclipse on the 4th of December, something in politics, something in earthquakes I have told, uh, I have spoken about, there are other things that we have been talking for a long time. I see some uh, problem with some aviation aircrafts and so and so. So you can say that, okay, uh, that we got the news and then today when I'm talking to you, the news says that not a single virus has been found in India. So today, <clears throat> the, even the chart that I have prepared over here is according to the, the chart of Bharat, India. I am not talking about the Karl Kundli today. So when I was into a discussion with few of my colleagues who are also astrologers, I keep on learning from them also. We came to a conclusion, we wanted to draw some, uh, then and tell you people that see, government will do its job. But there are few things that we have to take under control. When we have an idea, we have a reason, the best is first of all not to panic. Because in most of the cases, it is the panic and the fear that creates a havoc. Right? So we should first understand that this solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse which just passed by. I have told you 40 days after the lunar eclipse and 120 days after the uh, solar eclipse. Also in the discussion we were talking last night, it came that why everything is happening in the month of December is a triggering point and it goes on a peak somewhere in the month of March. Now there is a separate calculation what we, which we did and we understood why it is happening. Also in the discussion we were talking about Saturn, Shani Dev. In the Karmasthan, see the, the, the sign Capricorn, Makar Rashi is a natural 10th house which talks about karmas. Shani Dev is the taskmaster, he is one who is associated with karmas, that is his job. And from day one, I have been talking very clearly and I still believe in that this virus is here because the earth is in pain. It's in lot of pain. I do not want to discuss something which may become very controversial, but what is happening around this world, how people are behaving now, I think somewhere the divine will always venture. It is required and few of us 
not us i am talking about you know i would call this i'll use the right term over here is the earth is decluttering itself detoxifying it is terminate terminating what is not required it is removing the filth from this earth and even if if it has to include me okay that's fine because if we are going to give pain to to the earth which is the resource of our survival on this planet somewhere we have to pay for it also but anyway i am no i am not in a mood to give a lecture over here <clears throat> but yes let me make things a little clear so that we have to just take a little precaution some people will debate some people will say okay, no what you are talking about is not possible okay i agree if it is not happening it's not happening and i'm happy about it see the position over here <clears throat> now this is according to the chart of india you know the lagna is always rishabh taurus rahu is sitting over here in the kritika nakshatra kritika nakshatra is ruled by sun sun over here is ruling the fifth house which is the house of mars masses now there are two houses in the horoscope which rules with audience mars is seventh because if this is the raja if the king this is the praja the subjects right this is mars and that is why whenever i talk about you will get a government job or no it is not the sun that you will uh, look into the horoscope it's always the fifth house because this is the mars the income of the mars is a second house over here from here you will get your salary that means you are going to work for government because they they will pay tax and you will receive the money i hope you are understanding what i'm saying now now the day of the eclipse from the 5th of december what 4th of december let's forget about it 5th december you will see sun with ketu with mars and mercury the nakshatra would be vishakha it would be anuradha which is ruled by saturn the day jupiter left uh, capricorn i told you that saturn was respecting jupiter's presence over there now saturn is in full swing and full mood okay to take everybody at task whoever it is one planet saturn does not spare anyone if he has to he has put the god and the goddesses in trouble forget about yourself so now the position is that understand rahu and ketu is over here all the planets are, are moved in i have put moon over here but the moon will come over here on the 19th of december till then it's a complete kal sarp yog this is the time from 5th of december to the 19th of december we will be under complete kal sarp yog mars from here is also looking at the karma sthan where jupiter is there but if you have this in your mind that jupiter is always auspicious as always gives you no jupiter is will give you wisdom wisdom does not come to you until and unless you are shaken up even today what we are doing today also we are partying we are just socializing we are just going out in open and not mask is not required everything is gone virus is not not there this happened in the first wave also right this is exactly what's going to happen now also if if you want to actually take care of yourself don't bank on don't count on the government or precautionary measures they are taking you have to take charge of yourself this this is the triggering point from here it will start so my request to you is please you take charge of yourself and your family make sure that you do not uh, mingle around go for, for gatherings and socializing and picnics and parties and all those things it's going to affect now also you will see that venus is going to be over here in the 8th house in the kadeshkundli 
what will happen over here venus in the 8th house is not a good, actually not a good position though venus rules aviation hotel industry and so on also we have to understand that rahu also represents poison right ketu represents viruses these two planets are just bank opposite it remains opposite but it is a eclipse it's a grahan yog now here this is a reason why b when we discussed b found that the most crucial period till the kalsar yog is there this could be a triggering point till the 19th of december but even if after moon moves over here does not mean that the 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 situation is getting better no it's not getting better it, it, it we need to be careful we need to understand that if we don't take charge things may go out of our hand also one more thing if this happens if this happens i want you to save for the rainy days believe me economical conditions would go really very bad leave aside the the health of the people yes but then the economy also matters a lot and i i am a firm believer of something like i told you the earth is in pain and when earth has to rejuvenate regenerate okay there cannot be a, a one statement that i always uh, give you there cannot be construction without destruction destruction is the first step towards construction keep this in your mind i think you will agree with me thanks a lot